In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your vehicles on your control panel. This is your control panel on your left hand side here. So we're going to first go to the admin tab. We will take a look at our devices. So any device, this is actually the serial number uh, for that unit that's in your vehicle. So if we look over here, there's no map label assigned to it. So we can see which ones have been set up and which ones have not. So we can see that we have two vehicles in this account that have not yet been set up. So what we're going to do is now go to your vehicle tab. Then you're going to come over here and click Add. Then we will go ahead and name this vehicle. Next, we're going to come down here and select an asset icon. So depending on what that unit is in, uh, a vehicle, uh, a truck, a car, uh, maybe um, maybe a trailer tracker or something like that, you're going to go ahead and select the icon. Next, you're going to select the asset type. So uh, this is very important. Uh, depending on what type of vehicle it is, you want to select the correct asset type. So for um, obviously your equipment and your trailer, those are self-explanatory. Uh, the heavy duty, light duty, and medium duty. So your light duty would be anything like um, your small vehicles, your you know Honda Civics and those Toyota Corollas, the small vehicles like that. The medium duty will be your smaller trucks. Okay, and then the heavy duty are going to be anything above that. So your large trucks, your Silverados, and um, and those type of vehicles. So you're going to click on the asset type, the VIN, year, make, model. That's optional uh, for you guys to go ahead and put in. Anything that has a star next to it is mandatory. So you can fill in the information. It's totally up to you. Then you can come down here and select a driver. If you have one driver assigned to that specific vehicle, if not, you can go ahead and leave it blank. And down here, you're going to want to put in uh, your initial odometer miles or your initial engine hours. So upon setting this up, um, to make it easy on yourself, you want to go ahead and, and write down those miles that you have currently on your vehicle. Then once you come in here, you will go ahead and select the... Um, initial odometer and then go ahead and put in the miles. All right. Next you're going to come over here to the asset group. If you have selected or if you've made groups, you can go ahead and select the specific group that you want this vehicle in. If not, uh, you can go ahead and just leave it blank. Then you're going to go ahead and set up any input. All right, and your inputs would be uh, for those vehicles that are that are already connected. So if you don't know or you don't have those connected, don't worry about this. But for you that have these connected up, this is where you would set them up. Okay, you would go ahead and give it a name. Okay, and then you would uh, go ahead and select your your. Uh, whatever it is that it's c connected to, it would be either open, closed, on, off, or active, inactive. The last uh, section here is the pair of the device. So this is where you need to make sure that you write down uh, the serial number that is in that specific that specific vehicle. So you're going to then click on here. Now we only had two devices that were not uh, that were not paired up. So we're going to go ahead and select the serial number for this device. Last, we're going to come down here and click Save. We're going to go back to our control panel. And now we see the delivery truck 1 on, um, on our control panel. Alright, and that is how you pair your device and set it up on the control panel.